Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to achieve this look that you see here, which is image inside of a text. Now, I want to give you a quick disclaimer. I am in no way, fashion, form, shape, whatever, tech savvy or um, know any technical terms or whatever using computer, com computer literate, whatever. I'm only coming across this because I was searching on YouTube for it. Um, image inside of a text and I did not find it using Keynote. I saw it using Photoshop and other Adobe programs but not using Keynote. So I just you know played around in Keynote and this is what I I you know I found. This is what I, I, I know how to do to the best of my ability. So excuse me please if I'm you know dumbing things down you think or you know you know more than I do I'm sorry like I said I don't know too much about this stuff this is just stuff that I come across because I'm trying to do it and I'm learning so thank you again and I hope you enjoy the tutorial okay so now we're going to select keynote go ahead and open that up select white and choose for our theme we're going to take away that double click to edit box there that text box we're only going to use the bottom in this case, we're going to type love. I'm going to go ahead and open that up a little bit. You'll see about that later. And then we're just going to move it over so you can see the changes that we make as we edit it. Go ahead and highlight the word love and under text tab, I'm going to change the font to Rockwell Extra Bold. And it is in the black font, but we want to change the um, size to 107. And we also are going to select that little settings tab, the drop down bar, and then we're going to go to outline. We want it to be outlined in black because it's a white background and we want to see the actual words or the letters rather. Now we're going to take the image and drag it in. Use whatever image that you have. And then we're going to enlarge it. And as you can tell, it's covering that word love. So we're going to go to arrange. And then we're going to select that so that the image is behind the word. And so now we can move this word love anywhere in the image, wherever you prefer. In this case, I wanted to get some of the water, some of the palm trees. So I think that'll do it. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and change the black outline. So we're going to highlight the word love again. And we are going to go into the color so not that right there but we're going to actually go into the color drop down bar and then select white and so now we are getting closer to getting this text in or image inside of the text now we're actually going to have to save this as a whole image because right now we just have the image in the back and just text in the front so the whole thing needs to be an image so I'm going to show you how to do that all you're going to do is simply go up to file in the top left corner and then under the file tab you're going to select export to images and we're just going to select next and go ahead and create a name for that document in this case it's going to be love to image in text all right, go ahead and select export. And I made a copy of this already, so I'm gonna replace that. So now that we've saved that, we're going to, head, going to go ahead and pull that up. So we're gonna use that magnifying glass up there, that icon in the upper right corner. We're gonna select that, and that's our spotlight search. And we're gonna select, or we're actually gonna type in whatever the the name that you made of the document. So we're going to type it up. Love to image in text. I'm going to select that and it's going to pop up as a whole image. And so now it's an image um, instead of a separate image and a word. So now we're just going to go ahead and crop it. Okay, let's select that portion and we're going to crop it. Go to tools, then crop or command K. And then we're going to make the image larger by scaling up. Then after we scale up, that's when we're going to make our edit. So go into the top left corner and we're going to hit the instant alpha and just select 
a portion in Crystalite, but we have to convert it into a PNG. So press convert, and there we are. We're going to edit it. Do not go so far that the letter is highlighted in red. Otherwise, you will delete the whole letter, as you see with the L. So just delete, excuse me, select a portion of the word and try to get as much as possible, but not too much. And select delete, and you see this checkerboard image in the back that just shows that it's transparent. And continue to do the same for the rest of the image, just deleting all of that. And it is, it becomes a little bit complex when you have a longer word or if you're using a different type of font, but in this case, it's, you know, one of the simplest ways to do this. Again, you guys, this is just the way that I found to do it. It is time consuming at, you know, at times, but it is what it is. So as you can tell, I'm editing, just selecting, and pressing delete, select delete. So you're going to continue to delete and erase all of those tiny pieces of the image that you see until you essentially have the letters only and the checkerboard background. And don't worry, those checkerboards will not show up once you save it, it's just showing that there's nothing there. All right, so you get the gist of it. Most of it is out already. We're gonna go back into um, Keynote. We're gonna save this and go back into Keynote and we're gonna polish off the rest of it. Or you can use, um, it's this tool up here in the corner and uh, you can select, I think it's lasso selection. And pretty much what this does is you just select whatever you want. So just make sure that you bring it to a complete circle and then it engulfs whatever you selected. So all of this. And so with this, you have to have a steady hand. Okay, so that's how that works out. I'm going to show you how you can now use this transparency function in Keynote. So I'm just going to exit out of this because it's already saved. And now I can actually delete this, select that and delete it. Okay, so now we're back in Keynote. So we're just gonna pan over to the magnification glass over here in the corner, the upper right corner. I'm gonna select that and that's our spotlight search. Okay, so we're gonna click select your image that you had and it's this in this case. We're gonna drag it inside of our little canvas here. I don't know what that was. This stuff, this what I say is me. There we go. Okay, so now the image is inside of Keynote. Now we can finish our edits. So now that it is an image, we can actually use Instant Alpha in Keynote. So go ahead and scroll over to Image, the tab, click the tab, then go to select Instant Alpha. And now you are going to pretty much do the same thing you did using the photo editor. But um, now, and this is slightly different because it magnifies everything so you can see what you're doing. So this little area right here is the same thing right here. It just, it's magnified. So we're just going to scroll down to select that part. And you will notice if you keep scrolling, it's going to highlight more and more. 
and eventually too much. Again, if it's red, that's exactly what it's going to delete. So in this, as soon as you deselect that part, portion of the image, it automatically deletes. So again, press Command Z if it's not something that you want it to do. So as you can see, this is what is going on. And in the best scenario, you could pretty much do everything just by selecting all of that. So you can see most of that is already um, taken out. So we can, uh, I'm just gonna do that. Select this, get rid of, uh oh, get rid of that. We can get rid of this. Or you can just simply crop it. So if you want, go to style, I mean image, and then edit mask. And now it make it easier on you, you could simply just crop it so that you don't have to deal with all of the extra stuff. So crop it to your preference. Select done. And so that's what we have now. And now you see that it's looking more and more like um, the image and the text. But we still have some more editing to do, so I'm just gonna play around with that some more. But you pretty much get the gist of how this is gonna work out. Okay, so let's just pretend that it's completed, just for the sake of time. Press done. I can go ahead and um, trim all of this, this side off again by going over to edit mask underneath the image and then just moving this in right there. And, um, if you have more on the bottom, you could do the same thing. So, yeah, pretty much. Click done, and that's pretty much what we have going on here. I still have this speck right here that is just bothering me, so I just want to get rid of it. Okay, I think I got rid of it. Yes, I did. All right, here we go. So, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's not perfect, but if you spend more time with it, then you could do a better job. Um, and maybe you don't have to spend that much time on it to do a better job. Maybe I just suck. Anyhow, so this is what we do. And then um, now all you want to do is save this as um, an image again, export it. So we're going to go up to File, then Export to Images. And you can actually use the same name that you use for the image. So... It was what? Love to image in text, I believe. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Replace it. Okay, so now that's what we have. So when we go over to search for the picture itself, um, it should be here. Love to image in text. So it's already highlighted, but I just wanna double check. Okay, so here it is right here. Um, and that's pretty much how we, you get this little image right here. Your image inside of text using Keynote. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I'm sorry that I was kind of all over the place a little bit. If you think that I was all over the place, I apologize. Again, like I said, I am not so big on computers and the technical terms and tech savvy or whatever the case may be. So I'm just showing you what I know. Thank you so much again for watching the tutorial and um, let me know if you find any um, better solutions to getting this image inside of a text using Keynote. See you guys.